May we love everyone, even our dearest friends, only in God, for God, and according to God. August 12th is the feast day of our patron saint, St. Jane Francis de Chantel. St. Jane Francis was a wife, mother, nun, and the founder of a religious community. She held prayer at the center of her life and believed it was through prayer that one can fully embrace God. The success of prayer depends neither on words nor study. It depends upon the simple raising of our minds to God. The way St. Jane Francis lived her life, guided by prayer and by radical love of neighbor, helps shape our parish identity today and guides us as a community of faith. Let us keep our hearts at peace. St. Jane Francis de Chantel turned fully to God at a turbulent time in her life. At just 29 years old, she was widowed and had to care for her four children without her husband. Following this tragedy, she fell into a depression. Hold your eyes on God and leave the doing to Him. That is all the doing you have to worry about. Although the darkness in her life was strong, all that changed when she heard St. Francis de Sales preach at Dijon, France in 1914. Just six months later, Francis de Sales became her spiritual director. His help, guidance, and strong friendship allowed St. Jane Francis de Chantel to lean fully into God's grace and grow in her faith at a crucial point in her life. In prayer, one must hold fast and never let go, because the one who gives up loses all. In June 1610, Francis de Sales and Jane de Chantel established the Visitation of Holy Mary, a religious congregation for women who were not strong enough physically to enter established religious orders. In a break from tradition, the Visitation of Holy Mary allowed its women to leave the convent and visit the sick and poor during the day. Francis de Sales' vision heavily influenced this new congregation, and St. Jane Francis de Chantel became its first superior. If it seems that no one is listening to you, cry out louder. If you are driven out of one door, go back in by the other. St. Jane Francis was also drawn to the ideas of the Carmelites, the concept of giving up the normal forms of prayer and exploring abstract prayer through mysticism. Francis de Sales was at first cautious of this new method of prayer, but he soon saw how extraordinarily God was working through Jane de Chantel, so much so that Francis de Sales adopted this method of prayer himself. St. Jane Francis de Chantel had an extraordinary connection to God through prayer. Here, in our own faith community, prayer is essential. It's how we communicate with God. At our parish, we have many opportunities for prayer. The Rosary, a beautiful meditative form of prayer that focuses on gentle repetition, is prayed at 6 p.m. every Tuesday. Let us always be faithful in doing God's will. We have Eucharistic Adoration on the second Tuesday of every month from 1 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Adoration lets you spend quiet, contemplative time in the presence of God in the Eucharist. We gather for group prayer using the Lexio Divina method every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. This prayer method involves reading scripture, reflecting on its meaning, responding through prayer, resting in God, and responding in action. In prayer, more is accomplished by listening than by talking. Our intercessory prayer team prays for the needs of our parish, our local needs, and the needs of the Universal Church. They meet twice per month and continue to pray for requests beyond their meetings. May our hearts be enlarged with compassionate, loving support of our neighbor. We offer Divine Mercy Devotion in the chapel on the last Saturday of every month following the 4 p.m. Mass. This method of prayer proclaims a timeless message of God's merciful love through repetition. May we love as Jesus did, with a love that is kind, universal, compassionate, courageous, and self-forgiving. If you're unfamiliar with any of these ways of praying, there is no better way to become familiar than by trying it out. Prayer is the avenue to a relationship with the living and true God who wishes to be in relationship with us. Just like how communicating with family and friends is the way to deepen your relationship with them, so is prayer the way to deepen your relationship with God. Follow your own way of speaking to our Lord, sincerely, lovingly, confidently, and simply, as your heart dictates. If you have any questions about these methods of prayer and how you can try them out, call the parish office at 586-977-8080. St. Jane Francis de Chantal, on this feast day, we ask that you guide our parish by helping us to become a prayerful, loving faith community. Together we pray. Almighty and merciful God, we give thanks to you for St. Jane Francis de Chantal, who was inflamed with love for you, 
and who you bless with fortitude throughout all the paths of life. On this, her feast day, we ask you to grant our parish through the intercession of St. Jane Francis. The strength and character to carry out our mission. As a welcoming Catholic community, dedicated to living and proclaiming your gospel. As a community of prayer, as witnessed to by St. Jane Francis. We pray now for confidence and hope in your strength. So that we may overcome all adversities with the help of your grace. We pray in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.